Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a Kmart haul with you. We were in Wellington for Easter weekend and I went shopping at Kmart as I always do when I go down to Wellington and bought a bunch of stuff that is in no particular order. I have a tub full of stuff and I'm just going to pull out whatever's to hand. So it's going to be a bit of a mix. And the first thing that I pull out are these. Now, Grant has a very cold feet he tends to get cold easily and once he gets cold he can't like warm up unless he goes and lies in a hot bed with an electric blanket for a while or has a hot bath or something like once that heat is gone it has to come in from elsewhere he can't like generate his own heat which you'd think he would wear like fleecy tops and socks and slippers and retain the heat he has but no he wants to walk around in ridiculous like shorts and t-shirt all year round and then complain that it's cold so i've been trying to get him to retain his heat before he loses it and then gets too cold to function and one of those things that i thought would be sensible was wearing slippers so he had a look at klaus's slippers which are like these ugg style ones and he was like yeah yeah those seem really nice and warm i'll get some of those so when as i came out i thought i'd pick some up for him they had some for ten dollars some for twelve dollars but i got these for $17 because I have a really nice sole like you can take the bins out for that and I just thought they would last better now he tried on Klaus's slippers which were size 9 and they were too big so he said he needed a size 8 and these are size 8 to 9 but they are too small so they're obviously too small for Daniel because his feet are bigger than Grant's and Noah is not quite there yet. I have slippers. I don't need slippers. So we're just going to put these away for Noah. And I'll have to get around some others. That is a long story about slippers. Bought slippers. They were $17. Next up are some solar rope lights. As you guys know, we have a guest house. We have Airbnb guests coming and going. And sometimes they arrive late at night. And our property can be a little bit hard to find. And like I give thorough directions, but I just wanted something for them to look out for in the dark. So I got some of these rope lights and we've put them above the garage doors. But I wanted to get some that go all along the fence so that there's like a strip of light to look out for. So the ones above the garage door work really well. So I thought I'd get some more. So I got three boxes of them. I need to show you all three boxes apparently. Three boxes of these rope lights which are nine meters long and i think these were 17 dollars as well let me check my receipt do, 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 do. yeah these were 17 dollars each as well okay the next thing that comes to hand is a pajama top i needed a pajama top and so i bought one the end this was five dollars next thing is this necklace i've actually been wanting a silver tassel necklace for ages i don't know why i got in my head that that's what i wanted and i've never bought one and i've considered it multiple times i've seen them and thought like i won't buy it and eventually i was like i just want a nice long silver necklace with a tassel situation to wear with like a plain top and this was only five dollars so i finally bought one and i think it's really pretty it's got like a chain tassel Next up is a dress. I'm kind of a sucker for dresses. I love that it's just a complete outfit. I don't tend to wear them day to day, but I like wearing dresses to church. I don't have to find a top and skirt that go together and are comfortable and whatever. I had looked on the Kmart website before going and seen like what I wanted to go and try on. And the Kmart we went to didn't have everything. We went to the one in Petoni, but they did have this dress. I'll insert some try on clips, but basically it is black floral and I just think it fits so nicely like I put it on and I was trying to find reasons not to buy it because I don't really really need it and I don't really want to spend $28 on a dress but I just I had to buy it because I just really liked how it looked on and it's comfortable and I like the colors in it like I can wear a pink cardigan with it i've got like plummy colored shoes and red shoes and even gray shoes and i just yeah i bought a dress that i didn't really need next up is some more jewelry i was looking for earrings and this pack was only five dollars and i just like how simple they are but they're a bit of a statement and the fact that there's silver gold and rose gold all together 
for five bucks bargain one of the things i wanted to look for at kmart was some more jumpers or jerseys or sweaters or whatever you call them i got a few year before last and just wore them like continuously the whole way through winter and last winter i have gray black and white stripe navy and white stripe and black and i wanted to get some colors and they have very similar jumpers this year but instead of a v-neck it's a round neck so two of them i got quite big i got like a blue one and a pink one and i absolutely love this color i think it's so pretty and it's a good color on me and these were $14 each and then I got a green one and I just think this is so gorgeous like I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it properly I think it's so pretty it's like a deep green but it's kind of with a black or darker green mall and I got this one slightly smaller to like fit properly so it's not oversized just to switch things up I've been wanting a little clutch bag for like when I go out to dinner or like when we had one of Grant's work dues and we go out to dinner and I just need something to put my phone, my room key, maybe a tissue and some lipstick. Like I don't want to take a whole handbag and I have one that is like so cheap looking and so tatty and I was like no I just need to get a little clutch. And I couldn't find anything but there was this like little glittery purse. It's got obviously like faux uh, patent on one side and then this glitter on the other and it was two dollars so i thought that's big enough to fit my phone room key and the lipstick i think it'll do the job and i can leave a trail of shedding glitter behind me like a fairy next up are some bath bombs grant has a bath every day when he comes home from work partly to warm up as mentioned and he loves to have bath salts and bath bombs and things and i bought a whole ton because they had these little packs and they're nice small bombs, like like a massive tennis ball size bath bomb I don't think is necessary. And if I buy a big one like that for Grant, he'll break it up anyway. These are five little bath bombs and they were on sale for 50 cents. So as you can see, I've got a bunch. I've got mainly marshmallow scented and then I've got one pack of sweet sorbet scented. So Grant can have his bath bombs. I've been looking for a particular color blush for ages. I have this blush from MUA, which I got in the UK. And as you can see, it's just a cool tone pink. Like, it's not warm at all. And it doesn't have glitter or anything. It's all like smashed, as you can see. I don't want to tip it out. I've just been looking for a replacement for this blush for ages. And finding just a neutral cool tone like this, that isn't glittery and isn't shimmery and doesn't do anything special is actually really difficult i did find this one at kmart for the oxx studio so it's like super inexpensive let me see how much did this cost this was six dollars which i don't think is too bad it is number one fuchsia and i thought i'd just give it a try and it's quite good it does have some shimmer i've used it once and as you can see there's like powder everywhere but it's not bad and i think it's like it's not the same and it does like i say have a little bit of shimmer but i think it will do as a replacement i'll still use that one up like even though it's broken but i thought this was quite good to give it a try and i'm wearing it today don't know if you can even see it on me it's not the best blush i've ever had but it's okay and then the last thing i have to show you is a top which again i'll do a try on for you it is just a crew neck t-shirt that's kind of loose fitting black and then it's got these white and pink little cherries on and this tie front or like not front detail on it i like that it's just a comfy t-shirt but it has just a little bit more detail than a plain t-shirt with the print on it and the little knot front which also hides the troublesome tummy area so that's what i bought at kmart this time i hope you've enjoyed this haul let me know what you've been buying at kmart i know i'm going to get loads of comments from Americans saying A, their Kmarts are worse than ours, we have great Kmarts, and B, they're all shutting down over there, which is sad for you. But you guys have so many other stores to shop in, and we have not very many, so at least we have Kmart. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.